Hey Tipsy friends, I'm Nikki, your favorite little sister. Welcome to our channel. If you are new, welcome back if you are returning. I know, it's been a minute since you've seen this face. I've been going through it, y'all. Um, the struggle's real. <laughs> I just wanted to do like a quick little check-in of my reading journal and um, good notes, my 100 books, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and I have a package that I'm going to open because I told myself that if I did this video, I get to open this package. So we're doing it, I'm here. Um, so let's get into it. The beginning of the year in January, I was all bright eyed and bushy tailed, ready to conquer my reading goals and my reading journal and I'm still that girl. However, around, I wanna say mid-January, it started to rain and it has been raining on and off for like the last three weeks. And I don't know about you, but my body does not really agree with the rain. Um, for those of you who don't know, I was born with a club foot and dislocated hips and something about the rain affects my joints and my body in a very negative way and it makes it hard to do things. Like the pain is on a whole other level and my mobility is limited. So it's really hard to fill up to get on camera and smile. I did good faking it on Instagram for those who are there, but it was not easy. So that's why y'all got a lot of shorts. And I'm so thankful to Sarita because she is always really understanding and ready to do another video and put herself out there to compensate for my shortcomings. So thank you, sister. Um, but luckily I did start out strong in January. I think I had like nine or 10 books finished in January. The beginning of the month, I was really putting them down. And even like t when I wasn't feeling well, I um, was still reading, but I was mostly doing audiobooks. I just was not in the mood to pick up a book or pick up Cookie and read anything. Um, Cookie is my Kindle. So I just, I've been relying on the audiobooks or I've been watching TV which I'm kind of happy about because I haven't been watching TV too much lately, I realize, but um, back to it. So I was feeling myself really falling into a funk, which tends to happen when I've been in pain for like a long stretch of time. And I was like, no, mm -mm, we're not doing this. Get up, do something with your hair. Put some lip gloss on. You don't gotta do a lot, just do something. Like, get up, do a video, you got this package. Sarita's been talking about opening it. And I was like, no, we're gonna make a video. But then no video. So I'm gonna open it. Um, and it's just, it's been a lot. Um, it's really hard when you want to do something and for whatever reason, you're limited by your own body. Um, so, it, it's been it's been a trying couple of days um but so again we're here and i'm looking at my reading journal and i'm just so disappointed um i was doing really good with logging my reads and my um pages read the listen logging the books finishing adding it all all the things i was being a really good book girly okay um and then it just stops and I can't, I wanna be as honest as possible with it. You know, sometimes you add a page a minute, I don't know. Um, but I wanna be as completely honest as I can so I'm not going to go back and add them because some days I really don't know how long I read or um, anything. But it's just, it's really disappointing to see like the colors going, going, and then just stop. You know? And it just being blank really just, it really disappointed me. Um, it's kind of hard when your worst weapon or your biggest challenge is yourself, I guess. Um, I already knew going into becoming content creators altogether that my body was going to be an issue every now and again, but there's something about seeing it that like on paper 
if you will, that really just disappointed me and kind of got me down, but we're not gonna focus on the negativity. Um, we are going to move forward and just try and do better. Um, I'm going to try and make it a top priority before going to bed every night to write down my number. Even if I don't put it in my tracker, um, at least I have it done. So when I'm feeling up to actually engaging with um, my reading journal, I'll have accurate numbers. Uh, again, I was reading all throughout January is mostly um, fan fiction. I wouldn't say that my mood has kind of been um, like fantasy supernatural lately. And I've been reading some good stuff, but I'm not finishing anything. Um, my mood has not changed. I've just been feeling like when I'm in a story, I need a change of pace, if that makes sense. And right now, fan fiction is giving me what I need. <laughs> So uh, there's that, but I am reading and I'm going to make a valiant effort to write down my numbers and pick a day out of the week and record them. Um, so going into February, the goal is to do that. Um, I want to read 40 books plus two physical books because I didn't read a physical book in January. Um, it was all basically mostly audiobooks, uh, but I want to stay on track. Um, I haven't read too many for my hundred. Uh, those, but the hundred books I haven't read too many. I was gonna say something, but it was probably gonna be a lot. I haven't read too many. I think I've read two books <laughs> off of it, um, or three actually. I think. I um, when I got the idea originally, I borrowed it from Tia Love because she does a hundred books that she wants to finish in the year. And I think that probably would have been more accurate because it's kind of hard to track my mood, my reading moods, when I feel limited to the books. Um, the books that I'm currently reading are all a part of the hundred, but again, I've been mostly reading fan fiction just because I don't know. There's something about now having a, it's probably gonna sound like what Sarita said, but it's true. There's something about now having a list that just makes me not want to read the stories. Um, but I'm determined to read these hundred in this quarter. Um, but next quarter, I think I'm going to try just adding books and putting them like in categories versus already having a list because I do feel very limited and I feel like it's hard to truly track my reading moves because I feel like I have to read these books and I don't have to, but I feel like if I don't, I'm not going to read them. So um, I want to read 40 books this month. Um, I'm off to an okay start. I have finished one story so far. Excuse me, Devil's Stare by Sheree Lynn, um, which was not on my list, but it was an arc. So I should have actually put it on the list. I knew I had to read it for this month. Um, but I'm gonna make a really valiant effort to do that. And I'm probably gonna read like two short physical stories because again, I'm, I'm here and I'm smiling and I'm happy to see you guys. I'm happy for us to be together, but I'm still not feeling up to physically reading. So I'll still be doing audiobooks, which again, kind of limits the stories even more. Um, but I'm gonna get it done. I'm, I'm determined to not let my physical ailments stop me from my goals. Um, that's kind of a hard thing, <laughs> but it, I'm, I'm determined. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I know it's probably just is like rambling and all over the place and I feel like I'm all over the place, but I think it's important not to let your illness or your disabilities or whatever stop you. And it may slow you down. It may take you longer than it would someone else, but don't let it stop you. And that's kind of where I'm at. Like, I'm not gonna let this stop me. Um, it's not supposed to rain the rest of the week. So hopefully, even though they said it wasn't gonna rain today and it still rained, but it's not supposed to rain the rest of the week. So hopefully I can take this time to heal because we have a lot of things planned. Like there's 
so many things that we want to do and again i can only be grateful to my sister because she's incredibly understanding there was a lot of things we wanted to do video wise for youtube as in content of going places that i just physically could not do and she never gets upset or you know short with me or anything like that she will overcompensate and she shows up when i need her like that's my big sister so i just i really want to take this time because to do it i want to do all the things i want to grow and i want to go to the library <laughs> we really wanted to go to the library the last two weeks and just has my happen so hopefully we get a library vlog soon um but I just wanna keep moving forward and being positive. Um, I try not to dwell in sadness. And so I'm tr slowly working my way out of the funk that I have found myself in. And I feel like if nothing else, if my body keeps being a hindrance the next few weeks and I don't feel any better, I'm gonna be proud of myself to see my tracker. I'm gonna be proud at the end of the month to say, okay guys, nothing else happened, but I tracked my books and small victories. And I think that'll be a major one. So I'm, I'm really going to try and be on top of it. Um, I'm also gonna try and read all those books. Um, I also, one of my goals for January was to annotate didn't do that i'm hoping to at least start um i got my annotating supplies so that's fun i just haven't actually started annotating i'm not gonna tell you the book yet you all y'all gonna have to wait for all that but yes nikki is hoping to start annotating um and i've only written one book review this year so that 25 or 30 books reviews i wanted to try to do a month it has not happened um but Again, we're moving forward. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. That's my goal. So hopefully when I come back to you, cause I kind of want to do these monthly and hopefully they not be so scattered. Um, something else I struggle with when my body is not at its best is my brain is kind of scattered. So I'm sure I'm rambling in all over the place. So I do apologize for that. But I do want to do this monthly and reflect on the past month to do better in the previous month. Um, something that I was really disappointed in my 2023 goals is I didn't I accomplished a lot of them, but I also didn't accomplish a lot. So I want to be able to go back and reflect and do better. And on that note, I want to say hello, thank you, welcome. We appreciate you to all our new subscribers and thank you so much we love you guys so so much to all our tried and true have been here um it's just i'm blessed i i can't truly complain i'm very fortunate to have the people i have in my life and to have all all these amazing things so i'm choosing not to dwell um and to move forward and to accomplish goals. And I would really like by June to have a thousand subscribers on YouTube. So universe, do what you do, make it happen. <laughs> um, but that's kind of it for right now. I hope to have a more in-depth, better videos moving forward of my self-reflections and all the things. Um, I will also in I will also insert um, I don't know if I'm putting them after the video or in the video, but I will insert um, the stuff I've gotten so far as far as my reading journal for February and things. But I'm hoping moving forward, it'll be more in depth and better. But I'm tired of sitting in this chair. So we're just gonna finish up this video. So I can go lay back down. <laughs> um, we got a package from the lovely Aubrey Penn. Sarita opened it already, but I told her, no ma'am, no. We are gonna do an unboxing. And then I got, you know, sick and didn't do the unboxing. So we're doing it now. Um, ooh, it's from our um, homecoming season. Um, season two. These nice cups. Ugh. If you have not read Homecoming Season 2 by Miss Aubrey Penn, you are missing out. Um, I don't remember when we ordered these boxes, but I'm excited. Um, and I know you guys are also like, okay, but where's that 
uh, bookshelf video coming. Yeah, that's another thing I haven't been able to do because I haven't been feeling well. <laughs> um, my family love them to bits, are amazing, but they're also like overly protective sometimes. So because of how my body has been, um, Serena hasn't let me do the bookshelf and I don't want to do it with, I don't want to do it without me. So it, it hasn't gotten done yet, but hopefully you guys will get a video on that soon. Um, again, I, going to rest the next few days because we do have something planned that I refuse to miss. So I'll be resting. So I, I'm not sure when the bookshelf video will come, but it will come eventually. And I just thank you guys for being patient and um, understanding and for your support. Uh, your guys' comments, your likes, your subscribes, you really don't know what that means to me and my sister. Um, again, I haven't been feeling too hot. So, and I'm usually the one that is like sees the comments and then I'll let Serena know if she needs to comment back to someone or something. But I'm usually the one to take the admin route and do all the behind the scene things. So I see those subscribes, I see those likes and I truly, truly from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate you guys so, so much. Um, when you're feeling horrible and down, stuff like that really makes a difference. So thank you. <sighs> Isn't it beautiful? Oh, Homecoming season uh, book one is actually one of Sarita's favorites. And oh, this is Sarita's book. It's actually one of Sarita's favorites. But this one, I have to say, I like this one more. Um, the first one's on audio. Nikki, my favorite younger sister, please enjoy higher and I will. Love this book. This was my favorite um, book of January, which it was the first book I read in January. <laughs> so I probably should have waited, but I, I stand on it. Okay, I stand on business with this one. I absolutely adore this story. Um, uh, and then, Oh, this is Sarita's. I'm not good with the um, Greek letters. So if you know what it says, please tell me because I'm not fast sorry friend. I'm not good with it. But Sarita's role name is Assassin. Cause she brings all the sass, cute, right? And she's lethal like an assassin with her words. <laughs> um, and then this one is mine. Cute. Um, something Aubrey Quinn always does for us, and I truly love and appreciate her for it, is she never gives us the exact same thing. Um, sometimes when you're buying boxes and things like that, you it's all community, right? So you just get everything, but she makes a point of always making it personalized to us. And I am neoclassical because I bring the class to Sarita Sass. <laughs> oh, I love it. And I just felt like neoclassical just, it's my vibe, it suits me. Um, thank you, Miss Aubrey Penn. This was a beautiful box. Thank you guys. Um, and if you made it this far, I truly appreciate y'all because I don't, I don't even know what this video is gonna look like if I'm being honest. <laughs> but I'm gonna post it because transparency is important. And maybe in two months, I can look back on this video and be like, you did it, girl. You did that. You did that. You moved forward. You tracked all your books. You're just, you're giving the book girlies what they want. <laughs> and the book boys. We see you guys too and we appreciate you. Um, so that's it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, ring a ding ding. Until next time. Bye guys.
Oh, oh, oh.